Hey guys, this is my review of the BP60D from Cool Music. This is a 120 watt speaker that is battery powered, but you can also run it off of an outlet from your wall. So let's flip this thing around and look at some of the features and then show you a few different ways that I would use this. So on the back panel here, we have two combo jacks, which means you can either plug in two microphones or two line inputs. Or maybe you want to do one of each. So if you're a singer out on the street corner, maybe here in Nashville or just wherever you're from, you can plug a microphone into mic one and then your guitar into mic line two. And you have separate control over both of those. And what I really like about this speaker versus other versions that I've reviewed in the past is you actually have a separate gain and reverb and a high and low band EQ for each channel. So that gives you lots of flexibility when dialing in your sound. So for guitar one and two, we have two quarter inch inputs right here. So we do have two separate gain controls for those two inputs, and a high and low band EQ that is global to those two inputs, and also a chorus and a reverb. We do have a 48 volt phantom power for microphone one. So that's great for your condenser microphones or anything else that needs phantom power. And we also have a plus four or negative 10 dB, depending on the type of line level that you're sending to that input. We do have a DI output. If you want to send it to a recorder like I'm using here in this video, I'm using the Zoom Q8. So I could take a signal out of the DI and feed it into an input so you can get more of a direct sound. And then we also have a line input on this. You do have a headphone input and also a separate record out level, which is awesome. And of course we have a USB port so you can plug in a phone or connect any mobile device via Bluetooth so you can play music straight out of the speaker. And of course we have the main volume and the power. So let's go ahead and make some noise and see what we can do. So first up we're going to be testing a dynamic microphone into mic input number one. And I do have the gain up at 12 o'clock and the low and the high frequency bands at 12 o'clock as well. And this is the overall sound of the speaker. So now I'm going to start turning up the reverb and you're going to hear my voice get a little more ambient sounding. Check, check, one, two. How does that sound to you guys? This is a speaker from Cool Music. Okay, here's the next test. This is a shotgun mic, which actually needs 48 volts of phantom power. So you're just going to push in the switch on the back like I showed you before. And you get a nice clear sound out of this speaker. I can adjust the low end, so kind of take out a little bit of the lows. I can raise the high end a little bit and make it a little more crisp sounding. And of course, I can give it some reverb. Reverb. Now I have a different condenser microphone plugged into mic input number one with a 48 volt phantom power and just a little bit of reverb. Check, check, check. And I have acoustic guitar plugged into guitar input number one. And this does have a separate gain control with a shared high and low band EQ. So here's the guitar by itself. And we can add a little bit of chorus. And we can also add a little bit of delay. So if you're looking for a speaker that has plenty of inputs for you and your friends to plug into and jam along with, then I think the BP60D is a great choice. And if you like this review, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know that it was helpful to you. Thanks guys.